putting everything together here, we have a uh, little problem with our door. This is one of our doors right here. And you can see the hinges have become disconnected. Um, not sure really what the last person was trying to do here, but it looks like they ended up drilling two holes and putting some screws in here. Um, yeah, it's, it's not really that big of a deal to uh, get these rivets, old rivets out and, and put new rivets back in there. You can see up here, these holes are clean. These, these are the ones that I broke, um, but the rivets just pulled loose. It'll happen over time just from uh, swinging this door back and forth that you know, every time that little bit, it, it kind of pulls that wedge out. And uh, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna replace them now. This is the door. So I've already drilled out two of these that came out pretty clean. So we got to drill out this last one and uh, then we'll work on those three on the bottom and we'll put some new rivets in. Hopefully this won't, eh, bet you it's going to start to spin pretty quick. Um, I'm going to have to try to hold this sort of pair of pliers from behind. There we go, nice and clean. Basically what I did here is I just used a, a drill bit one size smaller than the, the pop rivets that I'm gonna use. And that's all you gotta do. So now I just gotta get these out of the, the jam and we can move on putting rivets in. in there there we go that one's out little piece in there. There it is. That's our last little piece for that one. Now this one might be a little more of a challenge because it looks like this guy already drilled this out once. Well, that was quick. go all right so we got the old rivets out now now we got to put the new rivets in stole one of these rivets um, this is your ba basic rivet now, this, this is the part of the rivet right here that holds everything from this little shoulder back um, the gun 
what that's going to do. Move your handle back, slide it in, and now it's loaded. As I squeeze, it's going to pull this little pin through here and expand it. It'll mushroom it out. So you want to make sure that the distance from here to here is sufficient to go through both pieces of the material you're trying to rivet to. Um, and then as you squeeze it, you might, we might have to squeeze this a couple times because this one's a little longer than we, we probably needed. But what it'll do is it'll actually, it'll mushroom more and it'll start to bend. It'll actually stay in there a little bit better, um, hopefully a little bit longer. So uh, as we put this in, one thing to keep in mind with rivets is that there's no adjustment. So you want to make sure that you have this thing in there pretty good before you pull this thing down all the way. Now you can get away with sometimes not pulling it down tight and then coming back to it and finishing it off later. Um, with the longer one, we can probably get away with that. Uh, we'll have to see if we need to or not. But what we're going to end up doing here is we'll do the top and the bottom. So let me move this back over. on there so we get the top and the bottom hinge so what we'll do is we'll lay out we'll start with the top one and we'll get our holes laid out and then we'll do the bottom one afterwards um, hopefully these holes here aren't you know, they're not too crazy we should be able to get them and then we can actually also come back later on and re-drill out these holes where he had the screws and put two more rivets in there um, That'll help hold this thing nice and secure. One of the advantages of using a rivet is, is really this little shoulder in the front. This shoulder is so small that it doesn't really, it's not going to affect this hinge, you know, when it closes. The, the two screws, don't, well, yeah, the, the heads aren't going to hit and, and hold this hinge, prevent the hinge from letting the door close. So that's really your big advantage with, with a rivet is uh, they're fairly quick easy pretty strong i mean this boat is um what 23 years old or whatever and uh it, it's held up that whole time so hopefully it'll hold up for another 23 years once we put this back together You want to make sure that shoulder is nice and tight. Take a couple of squeezes to get this thing in. I got all my holes lined up. And that's it. One rivet's in. So this is all, all you're going to be left with is just the pin. And uh, that rivet's done. Just gotta do the ones on the side here.
Since somebody had already gone through and drilled two holes for screws, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, these are 3 16 pop rivets, so I'm going to get a 3 16 bit. I'll drill these out, and we're going to put two more rivets in the bottom. That'll hold this thing forever. But as you can see, it'll stay. Just two extra rivets. Those holes were a little big that were on there. These holes are nice and tight. So there you have it, pop rivets. Now, you don't have to just use pop rivets for aluminum to aluminum. You can use them sometimes if you have to attach something blindly. Um, maybe you're going into a piece of plastic. You can actually, if it's thick enough, you can get the, the uh, pop rivet to expand and, and snap off and, and be able to hold it. But uh, it's nice because you can do it blindly. So we don't have to get behind this at all. We don't have to put a nut on it or anything. Uh, it's going to hold way better than a screw. And uh, that's it. We can get back on this thing, putting the sides back on, and getting our stuff laid out.